That is my look, my smoky eye look. Ooh, ooh. Nice and simple, not too much. Doesn't look like I got a black eye. We'll mainly be using it from this quad that I made myself when I was at a Pro Max store. Hmm. I'm going to use Shroom, which is this light pink one here, all over. Oops. Using it with my Quo all over shadow. So I'm just applying it all over my lid, just to get an even base everywhere. Okay. Yeah, you can't really see. This lighting sucks. I'm sorry, guys. I might have to redo this video later. For now, this is it. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. C brush. It was only $3. And then I'm going to use Night Divine here. It's like a grayish blue with a little bit of sparkle, but not a whole lot. So just press my e.l.f. brush in there just to get a bunch of color. This color will actually use more on the lid too. We'll bring it all over. So right now, we're going to cover the entire lid with Night Divine, but very lightly on the inner and more concentrate on the outer. We'll add lighter colors later. Do the same for the right eye. Start with the outer corner to get most in there. And then once you have that, sweep it inwards. Now what we're going to do is in the outer crease, I'm using my all-over crease brush from Quo, and we're going to take Carbon, which is a matte black color. Put it right in the crease. It's 6 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock. That was really loud, sorry guys. Right in the outer crease. And just blend it up. Now I'm going to take nylon, which was the yellowy one, in my all over crease brush again, just roll it in, and now I'm going to blend it up, just right here, blending it in, so it just makes the lines not quite as harsh. Okay, now I'm going to put a lighter color in that, in, in that inner again since we covered it all up to make a base. I'm going to use shroom again. Put on the, litter, the inner eye the crease. Since we have our all over base color pretty much set, now we're going to define the areas that we like. So I'm just going to do the outer corner, really close to the lash line though. I'm not going to take this out much, the carbon. If you go too out, it gets too dramatic. I like to keep my dark colors close in and then subtly blend it outwards with the darker stuff. So it's just the tinge of blue from the Night Divine comes through. Not too dark. My hair is so greasy. I should have showered. Ew. I like to use liquid liner for a night like tonight with smoky eyes. And I- oops, oh no. I spilt my contact solution all over my bed. <laughs> Perfect. I like to use Max Prep and Prime. And I like to let it dry a little before I put my other mascara on. So while I let that dry, I put on my um, liquid liner. So this is just a white consistency. Starting at the base. Wiggling up. I really like this because I have really small lashes and really straight lashes. So whatever helps, I'll take. 
Ashes all prepped and primed. Now, liquid liner. I'm using Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner in Carbon. It's a super nice tip. It's really precise. I like to dab some off before, because it, otherwise it comes out a little too chunky. And then I start on the inner and work my way out with little strokes. You have to use a really, really light hand. And then I never take it all the way down to the bottom, I wing it out. Makes my eyes much more dramatic. Ooh, look at that. So, now I'll put on my mascara, which is Clinique High Impact Mascara in Black, which is my favorite kind. This here happens to be a sample, because I buy a lot from Clinique, so I always get those, like, bonuses. But, yeah. So I'm just going to take a little bit. I get so oily. It's disgusting. I need to fix it somehow, and I don't know. So, you guys, if you have any tips, help me out. And this light is not helping. I don't think I'm that oily, but apparently, according to this light and video, I am. Sorry, guys. Just buff it out. Okay. And then... For contour, I use this bronzer. I don't really have a contouring bronzer or anything, but I find this is really nice. Swirl it around. Suck in your cheeks. See those lines? Put it right there. That's what I do for my subtle contouring. And then I use my blush. Elf's bronzing in cool, I think, or golden. No, this one's in golden. Just swiped every color in there. This I use more as my blush because it's it's a darker one, so I put more on the tops of my cheeks. And this brush is amazing, guys. Check out my Elf haul to see all the amazing stuff I got for very cheap prices. You guys would love it. So there's that. I'm just like going natural on the face since my eyes are kind of dark. And I don't know if it's high beam. I made a review on this too. Um, if you want to know about it, check it out. Lips, lips, lips. Nearly nude, Revlon. For curling lashes, I like to um, heat up my curler and put it on because I find that curls a lot better. And it, that works a lot easier once if your eyelashes are fully dry. So, yeah. Okay. Curling lash. Blow dryer. It's pretty hot, so I let it cool down a little. Okay. And just clamping away. All I used carbon, my divine, shroom. You guys do not need to use these colors. I'm not asking you to go out to MAC and buy those exact same colors. But if you have any dark colors that's like a matte black or a sparkly black if you prefer, a shimmery grayish with a hint of blue or something, or even if it has a hint of purple, something like that, and then just a nude color, a nude pink to put on your lid. There you go. That's all you need. Let me know if you guys have any questions or requests or anything. Um, have a good weekend though. I'll see you later.